Naomi, can you tell us a little bit about how it's important we think about treating lung cancer? So HER2 is a newer kid on the block in terms of the ways that we can treat it and take advantage of the genetic change there. The most exciting development is the FDA approval of a drug that is was already used in breast cancer uh, called trastuzumab deruxtecan. Some people pronounce it deruxtecan. Um, it's a newer class of drugs for lung cancers. It's called an antibody drug conjugate. How that works is you have an antibody or a protein that can bind to um, HER2, which you can think of as an antenna on the cancer cell. And then um, drug gets delivered into the inside of the cell and theoretically the cancer cell dies. So that's really a basic overview of how antibody drug conjugates uh, work. It's much more complicated than that, but two or three unique aspects of trastuzumab deruxtecan is like some of the other targeted agents that we use in lung cancer. Number one, it can get into the brain. So for some people, whose cancers have spread to the brain. Um, we don't necessarily have to treat those brain metastases up front with radiation. Sometimes we can actually try the trastuzumab deruxtecan first and see if the uh, brain metastases can be controlled that way. And that can be beneficial because it spares people the side effects from radiation and having to undergo a separate procedure uh, for the brain metastases. Uh, the other aspect of it is there's some side effects that are very unique to this kind of um, this class of drugs that are important to be aware of that are, that are different than some of the other treatments that we we do for lung cancers. So it's important to talk to your doctor about the some of these side effects. Um, the one I'll point out is inflammation in the lungs. We call it pneumonitis. So being aware that that could happen and what are the signs and symptoms of that things like cough and fever and shortness of breath. Um, and making sure you're, you make your doctor aware of that right away. Otherwise, there is just an enormous amount of work going on in trying to develop new treatments, taking advantage of HER2 mutations, as well as amplifications and understanding of the biology about how HER2 works in lung and other cancers. So never be afraid and I always encourage people to ask their physicians about what's, what's going on in developing new treatments for this cancer.